Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin. Ve sallallahu ve sellem ala nebiyyine Muhammed. Ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem. Ama ba'd. Ayyullah habitu fillah. Loving the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a part of our iman, it's a part of our faith. And it's a part of completeness in iman. And adhering to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the best way that you can deal with people who speak ill of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is by illustrating and defending the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by implementing it in your life. Imam, uh, Imam Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala he entitled a chapter in his Sahih Bab Hubb Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min al-Iman or Bab Hubb Rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min al-Iman the chapter entitled Loving the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is from Iman and then he said, Rahmatullah alayhi, Haddathana Abu Yaman, Haddathana Shu'ayb, Haddathana Abu Zinad, An-A'raj, An-Abi Hurayrata, Radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, Anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, Walladhi nafsi biyadi, La yu'min ahadakum, Hatta akuna ahabba ilayhi, Min walidihi wa walidihi. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, narrated by Abu Huraira, or an Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "By the one whose hand my soul is in, what verily one of you." does not believe until he loves until I am more beloved to him than his parent or and his child. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it illustrates for us the importance of completing our Iman and loving the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that is from Islam and that is the assistance how we assist, it, uh, assist Islam and the Sharia and the Mu'mineen it doesn't come by ca inflicting harm and violence upon others but rather it comes by being certain about true Iman and practicing the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam before radical events take place and after radical events take place and during the uh, times when there are extremist forces and secularist forces that attack Islam that it's consistent and being persistent upon the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and loving the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam during all times and that is the best way to deal with fitna by tamasik be deen, by adhering to your religion, and may Allah forgive us all of our shortcomings. One of the things we learn from this hadith, or the general meaning of this hadith, as the ulama, as Imam al we said, he said, Rahmatullah he said, Ma'nahu, he said, the meaning, La yukmil al iman ahadakum hatta yukun bi hadahi sifa. He said that one of you. Their iman is not complete until they have this characteristic. And then he brought some of the other narrations of the Salaf, but one, in order to keep this precise, I just want to bring out one uh, great faida or a couple of benefits from some of our the Salaf of this Ummah. Dhakara ibn Battal rahmatullah alayhi wa ghayruhu anna muhabbata so Ibn Battal, he mentioned 
that love is of three types. That there are three divisions or categories of love. Muhabbata ijlal wa wal azma wa muhabbata walid. He said the first time, the first type of, of love is the love of great respect and 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 making ta'zim or making uh, you know exalting something with greatness similar and this is the love of the parents that you have for your parents you hold them in high esteem and respect and love and, and cherish them wa muhabbata shafaqa wa rahma and then he mentioned the second type he said that it is the love of uh, affection and mercy. And this is the love that a person has for their child. فجمع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في هذه الألفاظ الأصناف المحبة. So then he mentioned the third category, and this is the the love of uh, you know beautifying and just a general love of uh, for example that you have for all of mankind. Or for the rest of the people, and then he said that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the love for him contains all three types, all three categories. And then he said, or in a, a, a statement of Qadi Iyad rahmatullahi alayhi, he said, "Woman muhabbatihi sallallahu alaihi wasallam." نصر سنته والذب عن شريعته وتمني حضور حياته فيبذل ماله ونفسه دونه قاضي عياد رحمة الله عليه he said and from the love of him صلى الله عليه وسلم mean the love of the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم is assisting and supporting his sunnah and defending his sharia and desiring to have lived during his life and striving by spending one's wealth and their life and other than it to support his deen. And those are just some of the few benefits from the Salaf of this Ummah and from great Imams like Imam Nawawi and Imam Qadi Iyad and Imam Ibn Batal Rahimahumullah Jami'an and may Allah have mercy upon all the ulama of Islam the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with all the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala and imajma'een those who carry the deen and may we be of those who support Islam and the Sharia, Sharia to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and be of those who practice Islam and who are not shy about our Islam, and may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings. Wa sallallahu wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wasallam.